Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a run through of installing the pixel. So we are going to do two other things besides installing the pixel that you need to not only know how to do, but you need to kind of understand how it works. And so after we install the pixel, I'm going to walk you guys through what installing a standard event will be and also custom conversions and why I um, would definitely advise that you guys do both. And so right now, let's just go ahead and install the pixel. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside ads manager and we are going to go to all tools and you're going to see pixels right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go there. Um, yours will probably come up with a blue button that says, um, create your pixel because you probably, um, don't have a pixel installed. Let me go find mine. It always wants to, there we go. So when yours is gonna load, it might just say, create a new pixel. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you could always go back and you, and this is how you can actually create multiple pixels. So why would I want multiple pixels? So the reason that I use multiple pixels is because I have two totally different audiences and niches for my business. And so my mom and pop shops, and then I have my coaching, and then I have, um, some other people who would like to um, come to some of my workshops. And so that's how I divide my pixels. And so we're going to be working off my main side hustle, her pixel. Um, and we are going to be installing it into my funnel. So um, we're going to go. So if you want to install multiple pixels, again, if you have totally different products, if you have totally different services and you want to keep your audiences on separate pixels so that Facebook's data doesn't get all mixed up. You're going to want to create separate pixels, but for most of you guys, you're probably going to use one pixel. So in order to do that, you're going to go here and you can create a Facebook pixel right there. Then it's going to populate. And so we're going to go and click on this so that we can install the pixel on to my funnel. And so what I am going to do is I'm going to click right here on setup and it's gonna bring up this box right here. And what we want to do is we want to manually install the code ourselves. Okay, so we're going to do this first thing right here is we're gonna go down to number two, copy the entire pixel code. So this is your base pixel code. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the code and I am going to X out of there for right now. What we're gonna do is we need to install that base pixel code on each of our steps in our funnel. So I'm going to go, um, if you're working in ClickFunnels, it's going to be under edit page. Um, you're going to have to Google um, to know where you're going to put your pixel on the software that you're doing. Um, but if you Google WordPress, if you Google Entreport, I'm sure that they, they have everything. I know Online Sales Pro does as well. Um, but for here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tracking code and your pixel is going to go. And, and it doesn't matter whether you're using WordPress, whether you're using Entreport or whatever, your pixel is always going to go in the header of your website or sales page, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it inside the header, we're gonna X out and we're gonna save and we're gonna do this every single step of our funnel. And so we are going to go to the next one. Go to the next one. Again, we're just installing the base pixel right now and we want it on every single page because we want Facebook to track Every single page of our funnel, again, we go to the tracking code, it goes in the header. We want Facebook to be keeping track of every single step of our funnel. So I'll do one more. We'll go to the confirmation page and I will go. And I will put it in the header. Okay. Okay. So what we just done is now we have the base pixel on each of our pages. So as you can see, I'm going to click this link right here and I'm going to show you guys something. So if I go to my page, you can see that the base Facebook pixel is installed. Now, this right here is Facebook pixel helper. You're going to find that it's a group, a Google Chrome extension. So all you have to do is go to Google. If you type in um, Facebook pixel helper, I'll actually just do that for you. 
Facebook Pixel Helper. And right here will be where you can get it um, for your extension on Chrome. Um, as soon as it is installed, you will be able to see um, all of the pixels that are found on not only your pages, but every single web page that you um, visit, which is helpful if you have an agency because then you can see who's got the Facebook pixel installed and who doesn't. So right now, as you can see, we only have the basic Facebook pixel installed. We have to do one other thing in order to track specific actions, and that is what we call a standard event. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to right here and we're gonna click continue. Now the next step is installing standard events. Now what standard events are, as you can see on a typical funnel, you're gonna have conversions like purchase, um, when people subscribe, when people start a trial, add to cart. Facebook is tracking every single one of these actions and so what we need to do is we need to install these standard events onto our funnel. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pick one that seems to be the best fit. And so what I'm gonna do is I am going to make sure that it has all of the standard events that I need for my funnel. They've got a view content, they've got, um, I'm looking for the lead. That one doesn't have a lead. So what I'm gonna do is, let's see, I'm gonna go to professional services. Yep, this one has, it looks like everything that I'm going to need, so um, professional services. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to click right here on lead and I am going to send event parameters. Um, we're only gonna use this whenever it comes to putting in value, like if it, if it, um, if it is going to make you money, then you're going to want to um, track right here how much money it's going to make. And I'll show you how to do that in, a, in just a minute. And so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this code right here. This is the standard event for lead. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy that code. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come back to our funnel. So we're this is our opt in page, right? People are going to opt in right here this single facebook ad is perfect for coaches okay so this is my my page that has the base pixel on it now people aren't taking certain actions until they press this button and so what we're going to do is once they click the send me the free step-by-step -step strategy that's going to constitute a lead right so we're not going to put the the lead pixel here what we want to do is put it on the next page right because if they click on the page before they're not going to be a lead until they land on this page, right? They're clicking over for, from, the, from the base page and then if they take action, they're gonna come to the next step in your funnel, right? And so this is where we are gonna go and install the standard event of a lead because if they end up on this page, that means they clicked through and so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the tracking code. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to put the standard event in the footer and we're going to close and we're going to save. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to show you what this is going to look like. So as you can see, when we go back to the pixel helper, another pixel is going to fire. So now we have not only the base pixel, but check it out. It is firing off a lead. So anytime someone lands here, that means that they just opted into my email list. And now what I'm doing is I'm giving them this one time offer for the $7 a month Facebook group. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to track people who are going to who are buying this offer, right? So of course we, we're not gonna put the pixel here because they haven't bought yet. So we want to go back to Facebook and what we wanna do is we wanna go back to the top and we wanna find the purchase pixel, right? Cause they just purchased something if they're gonna land there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close that and we're gonna go to the purchase. Now this is where we're gonna wanna put in some event parameters. The conversion value is going to be seven dollars because that's how much my my seven dollar membership group is and my currency is usd and that's all i'm going to track and so i'm going to come here and i'm going to copy this code and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go put it on the confirmation page right because if they land on the confirmation page that means 
that they purchased my $7 offer. And so that's where we're gonna go and we're going to install the standard event in the footer of a purchase, right? And so we're gonna X that out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and again, I like to test every time I do it just to make sure that the pixel installed correctly. And we're gonna go to our pixel helper. Oops. Oops, I missed a, there we go. And there you go, you can see that another one fired off. So now I have the standard base pixel and the purchase, meaning when people land here, it's gonna send a message to Facebook that they just made a $7 purchase, okay? But we're not done yet. We still have one more step that I want to show you guys. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click done. And the next thing we wanna do is we wanna track something that's called a custom conversion. Now, what we did was we just installed a standard event, meaning that if people land on this page, the standard event is a purchase. If they landed on this page, the standard event was a lead. But what if you have multiple pages that you can get leads from, right? If you're using the same pixel, and let's say you have like five opt-in offers, five different opt-ins, you want to track specific which, which of those pages is the actual lead, right? If you have multiple products, you wanna track which of those products brought in the sale because if you have like three products for sale and you're just installing the standard event, meaning you're just installing the standard purchase pixel, right? But if someone has multiple products or multiple services, then you want to track specifically, okay, what did they just purchase? Because if you just have the standard purchase pixel, Facebook's just gonna tell you this purchase came from here um, and it cost this much, but you're not gonna know which product they purchased. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and create something that's called a custom conversion. So again, it's, it's kind of easy to remember because standard events, it's just a standard, it's just something standard that happens, right? A purchase, a lead, there's nothing specific. What we're gonna come here and do is we're gonna create a custom conversion. And so as you can see, I've got two of my um, custom conversions already set up right here. You can see that um, people are visiting my $7 offer. I don't have any Facebook ads running right now. Um, so in the last seven days, only 50 people have visited, which is pretty normal when you're not running ads. Um, 14 people in the last uh, seven days have bought um, my, uh, my $7 membership. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set this up, right? So I could see exactly what I'm doing. So what you're gonna wanna do is, in order to set these up, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the link, right? So this is the link that after they opt in, they land here. And so I'm gonna go to custom conversions and I'm gonna create a custom conversion and I'm gonna pick all URL traffic and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, po I'm gonna paste my link right there. And so naming my conversion, I'm not gonna do it because I already have a name, but this means that they opted in for my, actually I don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is opted in for my offer. And then I'm just gonna select a category, that means it's a lead, right? We're gonna match it with our, with our standard event. And then it doesn't have a value, so we're just gonna leave that and then we are going to click create, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this confirmation page, right? Because this is the page they land on after they've bought the $7 offer. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna create another custom conversion. We're gonna paste it, all URL traffic. And this time we're going to name it, and I have it right here, $7 purchase click to buy seven, but right here, it's the $7 purchase, right? Because if they land on the confirmation page, that means that they purchased it. So I would say something like purchased $7 offer, and then I would match it with the purchase pixel. And I would put, um, it's it right here, as you can see, it's only as seven cents. So you have to put the actual without the decimal, that'll get up to $7 USD, and then you'll create. And so after you do that, you'll, you probably won't see any activity because it's not tracking before anything. So this is why you wanna get this done before you start sending traffic. Because if you do this 
in the middle of sending traffic, it's not going to have tracked anything that you've done before that. So you want to make sure that you're in, that you're installing these standard events and these custom conversions before you start running Facebook ads. So now what I'm able to do is instead of just seeing purchases, I know exactly what type of purchase was made and which page it was made from. So that's how you install the pixel. That's how you install your standard events. And that is how you install your custom conversions.